What up, what up, Wimbush here. And recently somebody asked me how they could get their imperfections and materials when using Unreal Engine 5. And so I wanna show you two ways of doing it. The first way is how you can actually make it a material like I have right here. And then the second way would be how to do it as a decal as you see right here. And if you wanna use the same exact decals that I'm using, I'm actually using ones from the Pixel Lab. I'm using a Blemish Pro 2. And if you wanna support the channel here, I'll leave a link down below. You can get this one for 70 bucks, but feel free to use any imperfections that you want. So to get started, I have a blank slate right here, just this UV character that I got from Substance Painter. So I'm gonna come down here to my content drawer and I'm just gonna dock this right here into my panel so we can see everything that I'm gonna do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is for making the material, I'm gonna right click down here and then I'm gonna come up here to material and we could just name this one UV underscore stain. So I'm gonna use the water stain one on this one. So if I double click on this, now we have our material in here and we're gonna get started by actually dragging the material in here. So let me actually minimize this one real quick. And I'm just gonna come over here and look for it inside of my docked panel in which we have it right here. So I'm just gonna left click, drag this into my material graph right here. Then I can make this large again. And I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna type in contrast because I wanna use a contrast node and I'm gonna show you exactly why. So if I come right here where it says cheap contrast, I'm gonna left click on this and then I'm gonna take the RGB and I'm gonna put it right here into the end. And then the results for right now, I wanna put it into base color just so you can see what's happening here. So this is the material that we're using here. And if I come down here, I can actually put it on a plane so we can see it better. And the reason that I brought it into contrast first is so that we could control the lightness and the darkness here. So if I come back down here to my material graph and I hold down the one key on my keyboard and I left click, that's gonna bring up our value right here. And if I left click and bring this under contrast, now we can start controlling the value of our contrast here. So if I come right here and I type in like five, you can see that it got way darker. So this is a good way if you wanna control the black, whites and grays of your image there, this is exactly how you would do it. But I'm gonna come down and I'm just gonna put it at one and then I'm gonna save it. And then I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and I'm gonna click on base color again, just to disconnect that because we wanna put this inside of our roughness pass. So right here where it says results, I'm gonna left click and drag it under roughness. And I'm currently using Unreal Engine 5.4 in which they upgraded the materials in here. So you can see that right now under base color, we have this little block and this is how we would select our color. So let's say we wanted to make this like a dark blue. So I'm just gonna drag this up here to blue, drag it down here a little bit and hit okay. So now you can see we have our grunge against our blue background there. Now, if I wanted to, I could bring down a specular a little bit. So let's maybe make this like 0.1. You can see that's getting a little bit darker in there. So maybe 0.3, somewhere in between. And let's maybe bring the color up on the blue just a little bit more so we can see everything better. And now I'm gonna click on save. I'm gonna exit this out. And now it's as easy as just taking that material that I made, just clicking and dragging it onto my mesh here. And now you can see that we actually have our material grunge pattern on here. Now, if for whatever reason you wanted to go through and maybe tile this, if I double back on my material here, so I just double clicked on it. If I right click on here and I type in coordinate, you can see it's gonna pop up with texture coordinate. So I'm gonna left click on this and I'm gonna connect this one to UVs. And now we can actually control the UV tiling on here. So right here where it says UV tiling for you, I'm gonna type in 10, then type in 10 for V. And you can see now that it actually tiled that on there. So if I save this and then minimize it and look here, you can see that we have a tiling pattern more on our mesh here. So that's an easy way that you could go through and add tiling to it if you have this properly UV'd out. Now, the second way I wanna show you is how we could do it with decals, which if you don't have a moving item, this might be the easiest way of doing it. So I'm gonna come back down here into my content browser. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna make another material. And I'm just gonna name this one decal stain like so and then we're going to double click on it and i'm going to minimize it again so we can bring our texture in here again so down here i'm going to use the one that says scrapes so i'm going to left click on this and this is just a regular png texture that i'm using so i'm going to bring this back up like so and now what i want to do is right here where it says decal stain right here under my results node i'm going to come over here to where it says material domain and under surface, I wanna make it a deferred decal. So I'm gonna left click on this and you can see that it gets really weird here. If you come down here to blend mode, instead of opaque, we wanna come down and make it translucent. And now you can see that it's completely opaque. 
So now we're going to set up our material here. So right here under texture sample for RGB, I'm going to make this one base color like that. And we can put it on a plane, but you're only going to see it against the background there. So there you go. Now we can see everything that's happening there. And then we also want to add the opacity as well. So if I left click on RGBA, bring it to opacity. Now you can see that it actually blocked it out, but we want it to be inverse. And so in order to do that, I'm going to right click down here and I'm going to type in one mind. And that's going to bring up math one minus. So I don't know why this will invert it, but if I left click on this and then I bring my RGBA into here and then bring this into opacity. Now you can see that I actually inverted it. Now let's say you want to get rid of some of the white here. If I come down here and I hold down the M key and I'm going to left click, that's going to bring up our multiply. And I'm going to bring the RGBA into the A slot right here. Then I'm going to drag this into this slot right here. So it looks like it does like so. And right here under the numbers, if I type in, let's say like two, you can see that's starting to get rid of the white there. So if you bring it up to three, now you can see the white is completely gone. Now this is a new thing with the new materials also in Unreal Engine 5.4. But if you want to do it the old school way, if I hold down the one key, left click, and then drag the value into here, this is going to be how you do your value now. So again, just bring this up to three. And there you go. So if you're using 5.4, you don't need this. But if you use some previous versions, this is the way to do it. So now I'm going to click on save and then I'm going to exit this out. And now we're going to come up here to where we have quickly add the project. It's this block with the green plus symbol. I'm going to left click on this and then I'm going to come down here under visual effects. So at the very bottom, you can see decal actor. I'm going to left click on this and you can see it showed up inside of our viewport here. But if I come down here under details location, I'm just going to zero it out by hitting this little arrow right here. And there we go. Now we can see what's happening with our decal there. So if I pull it up a little bit, you can see that it's starting to fade through the ground. And we want to put our material on here that we just made. So the one down here that I have as decal stain, I'm going to left click and drop that under decal material. And now you can see that we have it in there. Now, if I drag it up, you can see it's a little bit easier to see. And then it will fade out as we push through our surface there. And this will work on any surface. So if I bring it over here to my character, Let's say you want to rotate it a little bit. So let's bring it over here so we can have it happening on the face. So now you can see what's happening with our decal there. And again, if you want to get rid of a little bit more of the white there, just double click on here again. Let's bring this up to maybe like five. And there we go. So now you can see that scratched up on the surface there. So that's two ways of doing it. You could do it with decals or you could do it with materials. Now, I always say for imperfections, the best way to get the best results is to actually bring it in with Alpha Channel already embedded. And so just as a bonus, I want to show you how I usually go about doing that. And so as you see, I have After Effects open right now, and that's for a good reason. So I have this PNG here. I'm going to drag this down and just make a composition of it. And then over here, under Effects and Presets, I'm just going to type in Unmult. And if you don't have it, it's absolutely free. You just have to look on Google for it. But then I'm just going to bring this in here. And this is actually going to knock out the blacks on this image here. So if I come down here, right click, and let's make a solid so we can see what's happening better. So come right here and let's maybe make it red. Hit OK. Drag this underneath. So now you can see on our image where we have black, that's all knocked out by the unmult. So now we can export this out with the alpha channel and then bring that back into Unreal Engine. So I'm going to delete this right here. And then I'm going to come down here and make sure I have this selected. Come up here to Composition save as and i'm just going to save it as a file now i'm just going to save it up here onto my desktop as you can see right now when you do it that way it's going to say psd but we can make this a png absolutely easy so i'm going to click on save and then right here where it says render settings best settings and where it says photoshop i'm going to left click and i have all these already built by default but if you don't have something built out if i click on photoshop here come over here to format i'm going to come down here and look for png sequence so i'm going to left click on this and then right here, make sure you have RGB plus alpha. I don't need the comp frame numbers because it's going to be one frame. And then I'm going to click OK. And then down here, I'm just going to make sure I hit the N key to make sure I'm rendering out one frame. And right here under comp name. And now you're going to see the file name right here. And it's a PNG. So I'm just going to click on render. So now back inside of Unreal Engine 5, if I right click down here and come right here to where it says import to, I'm going to left click on this. And then I'm going to look for the file and there it is. This is the one that I just saved out from After Effects. So I'm going to left click on this. Then I'm going to click on open. And now you're going to see that it's in our content browser. So I'm going to double click back open my decal one right here. And then I'm going to left click on texture sample. And I'm going to look for that one that I just imported. 
which if I start typing it in, you can see it popped up right here, this order underscore zero two. So I'm gonna left click on that. And then instead of all this down here, I'm just gonna take my RGBA, put it into my opacity, and there we go. So now I can just delete all of these because I already had the alpha channel embedded. Now I can click on save. And now you can see we actually have a cleaner result when doing it that way. So hopefully that gets you started whenever you're trying to bring imperfections into Unreal Engine. Of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.